All right, guys, bring you episode four of Maxwell and Friends. This week on Maxwell and Friends, we have um, we have Mr. Ammo Create. Say hello, sir. Hello, Smaxwell. I am Tactical UAV, and I hate you. I don't even know why I'm on your channel. You're a <laughs> dick. Smax so. <laughs> Smaxwell. That's a, that sounds like a compliment. Smaxwell. That's, yeah. not, that's not a that's not an insult. Smaxwell. Smaxwell. Yeah. So I normally this is the, normally the second question I ask, but because I kind of mocked it, um, you actually didn't say your real name. His real name is Tactical UAV. Well, that's not his real name. It's his YouTube name. So yes. seeing I kind of mocked that, I'll, I'll ask that question first. Where did you get this name from, sir? Um, but can I just say one thing? Um, he's actually not the real UAV. He copied oh, really? this guy's account a day after his <laughs> he made his account. So would you explain yourself there, please? <laughs> Well, basically, um, I seen this guy called Advanced UAV who made his account the day before mine, and no, it didn't. No, uh, basically, I just made it up. I felt just thought, hmm, that sounds alright. Let's see if it works. You made up UAV. That is very, very. Uh, no, I made up the tactical and then put the. Uh, very funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go. Go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how did you get into YouTube? Um, to be honest, it started off with just watching videos and like Ken Burton and all this and seeing and etc. Huh? Sorry, I just randomly had to say that. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I was just watching loads of videos really and uh, thought, oh, that looks a lot of fun, so I tried it out, mm -hmm. bought a PVR, made okay, a few yeah. videos, oh, yes. and uh, here I am today. Mm. Was that your inspiration? Uh, yeah, probably. I was just like, seeing the videos, thought it would be fun, and uh, <laughs> trying to see if I can make a money, money off of phenomenon that is Emaxwell. Um, no, I didn't know you. You were just some random other, just sort of come along, you know, just this guy that has a sports directorship and, <laughs> you know, this... Premier you know. sports directorship, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's jump in straight into the uh, the first topic of today, and that is uh, our networks ruining YouTube. Let me explain to the people of the audience, the people of the audience, yes. that makes sense. Um, basically, what's happening now is uh, apparently if you have, like, 200 subs, you can get a license to basically give people partnerships. And there's also, um, Danny was saying, you might actually be able to even buy a license to, to give a partnership. So have you got any more info on that? Like, can you actually buy it? Or? Uh, someone did, I, I don't know the, like, kind of uh, how true the source is, but I did I did some, hear someone say that you could buy it for about £200 to Ridiculous. £500. Ridiculous. To, to giving out, like, people giving money, literally giving out money for people to go and make videos to make money off them. So mm. it's ridiculous, really. And it uh, shouldn't really be happening. You see, you know, mm. it's kind of ruining. Like, it, it, partnerships are becoming more and more and more um, common. And I think it's just kind of ruining the prestigiousness of having a partnership. And I really yeah. do believe that it's going to get to the point where a YouTube account is either automatically going to be partnered, so a partnership won't be a thing, it'll just be a YouTube account, um, or you're going to have, like, Basically, you'd have to post a couple of videos to get partnered. Do you know? Well, well, to be honest, I always thought like having a network was a very like prestigious a very thing. prestigious thing to have. Like mm -hmm. only like things like Yauch Machinima, yeah. uh, TGN, or whatever they're called, mm -hmm. like could only have. But now you've got things like Vexon, and I've seen at least nine new networks being created in the last two weeks. I think it's unbelievable. Yeah, I think it's because people are it's becoming more and more known how easy it is now to get a license to partner people, and it's yeah. it's so frustrating. Like you shouldn't just get that straight away at two hundred like two hundred subs. Did you say it was two hundred subs? You can get it up. Uh, yeah, you can you can apply to broadband TV and get a like a network started. Like you have a ninety percent chance of her to of getting it. That's ridiculous. Like, but it's it's so frustrating though because they're just basically not doing any work and they're getting this straight away. Whereas look at Machinima, it was only like mid two thousand ten they got the and they had like probably had a well over a million subs. Yeah. And they, only then that they got the ability to actually partner their directors. Yeah. And I, I don't think directors actually got. Um, paid on their it just channel. it just seems crazy to me that like like you could just easily go and say I'm starting a net I'm starting a channel go subscribe everyone subscribes and then just go and apply to broadband give me partnership and I've only got what eighty subs or whatever mm. it just seems ridiculous and like like I was uh, for very briefly a, a partner with Vexon <laughs> probably the worst decision <laughs> the fastest in my life. partner in the history um, of YouTube yeah, two days yeah two days which it was it was probably the worst two days of my life because. That's just that needs to go on Guinness World Records. That one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and uh, and uh, what, like I only had like eighty subs, and it was so it's just ridiculous. Don't I'm gonna say this now. Don't go with Vexon. Whatever you do. Oh, don't you're gonna do hope it. they don't watch this video. I don't really care. <laughs> you know, okay, that's not. They're, an, aw they're an awful network. I thought you're not gonna. Po I think you're not gonna post on it then. Or? No, I'm not going to post on that. The, the kind of hypocritical thing is here that's quite funny is we're talking about how networks are real on YouTube, but yet you're a director of two networks. <laughs> well, yeah. 
Well, one one after this video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just send this to uh, to Jake after this, just for the yeah. world. <laughs> but yeah, that... just don't don't don't. They're, they're very unprofessional. Even Kill Hollywood hates them now. So he was a employee, so he hates them as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they they, they seem to feel before they've begun. A lot of people turn yeah. left really quickly, which was a bit. Well, yeah. you hate him. You hate Jake yeah, after you know. what I've just told you. Not but... a great attitude, to be honest. No. Oh, it's kind of a weird, I don't know, weird outlook to have on it, but, um, so basically, are you saying, could I, I could literally make a channel tomorrow with 200 so get 200 subs on it, which I think I'd do pretty quick, and then yeah. get, like, the license to, to partner? Yeah, basically, I think so, it's like, they uh, told me the, the network I'm kind of with now, um, he said that there's a 90% chance of you, uh, having that ability at 200 subs. I wonder could I make my own channel currently, or would they see that it's only me posting, you know? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You, the, the thing is, you could just... It's not about, like, you just posting to it. It's like, you could, like, send out loads of stuff to people. Mm. Yeah, the problem I see with, you know, with people getting partnerships so easy as well, and if it does get to the stage where people basically get partnership really quick or else automatically, people are going to... More and more people are going to get into YouTube just for the money and not because they enjoy yeah. it. And not only that, but, the you know, there's already, like, so many YouTube commentators out there the, the market's completely saturated and it's just going to be even more if people think they can automatically start making money from it. Yeah, well, the, to be honest, I, I knew from when I started, like, I know I said I said it would be a good challenge, but yeah. I, obviously you do have it in the back of your mind, you think, oh yes, maybe I could maybe one day make money off this, but the more and more videos I made, the more and more I enjoyed it and just did it for more fun reasons, mm -hmm. but when opportunities like Vexon came along, I thought, oh, this would be great for, my, yeah. for me, but uh, unfortunately it didn't work, mm -hmm. but... I just think that, that it will come to a point where people are just pumping out video after video after video yeah. and there's not going to be any passion or like uh, effort put into yeah. the videos. I mean, when I first started making videos, I didn't even I didn't even want to get on Machinima. I didn't even think about making money from, mm. from videos. Like, I remember when I first started, I was like, oh, I would so love 50 subs. And I used to yeah. look at people with over 100 subscribers and think, oh my God, how does he yeah. have that many subscribers? Yeah. And it was awesome. And I still think about that when people like 10K subs. It'd be awesome to have that many subscribers. Yeah. But hopefully I will make it someday. Oh, well, hopefully you will. I wish I shall. I'll be 100k next week. Anyway, my God, it's eight, after eight minutes, let's move on to the next, the next topic. These, these always fly in, I don't know why. But yeah. um, So, man, what games will you be getting this year and putting on your channel? Um, it's it's quite interesting because it's probably going to be a lot of sports this year. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to be definitely getting FIFA Street. Yeah. And it's um, I'm going to actually be getting the, if, well, I think they're going to make a game, but Euro 2012, because I really like the 2010 World Cup game. Yeah, did, they bring, did they bring out a Euro 2008 game, though? Uh, yes, they did. Did they? Yeah. Really? It was like kind of low-key, I think. So but. are they expecting people to, are they, are they, do people think they're planning on bringing out Euro 2012? Uh, I don't know. I, they probably will, because it's like just like licensed official merchandise sort of thing, isn't it? So. That would be awesome. The the World Cup game was so fun. Unfortunately, they've shut off the servers now. But How was it so like fun? Online... Sorry. How was it so fun? This is not just like FIFA international. It is, but like they had this like, really addictive like, online mode for the World Cup mode sort of thing mm. online. Mm. And for some reason, it's so addictive. If you try and win, win, but like you say, like there's achievement to win with a free star uh, team. Mm -hmm. You just sort of keep playing and playing, and for some reason you just sort of get addicted. Mm. to trying to win the World Cup with these teams. Yeah, that'd be pretty crazy though. They'd have FIFA th twelve out. They'd have FIFA three four. And that have um, Euro, and Euro 2012, yeah. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be maybe good for FIFA fans. But, like. yeah, but the thing is, they may not even bring out uh, Euro 2012, because remember that's in June, isn't it? Um, and remember, this is coming out in, what, FIFA Street's coming This is coming out in March, I believe, yeah. And then there's FIFA 12, obviously, September, October, or whenever FIFA it is. FIFA 13. Uh, uh, I think it's normally the, like, 30th of October. No, it's normally like the 1st of uh, October, or something like that. And then also, is this actually getting that? Uh, probably not. So what non-sports games are you getting? Uh, Jesus, I don't really know any games that are coming out this year. Really. GTA 5, uh, Far Cry 3. Oh, definitely. Definitely GTA 5. Uh, I'll have to look in more in Far Cry 3. Yeah. Uh, Call of Duty. Jesus, I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> I actually <laughs> might not even get the next squad. Like, I might it, not. It has to have something game-changing, I think, but yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah, so apart from like FIFA and all this, I'm going to have like, um, starting up a football manager series on my channel. Yeah, I was thinking about getting into football um, manager. Probably wait till the next game comes out before I do. It's a lot, yeah, it's quite addictive actually, the yeah. game. And, uh, Scott got Napoli for the win. Yeah. Which is FIFA series. And, uh, a yeah. kind of Call of Duty roulette thing. And, uh, 
F1 2011 series. Yeah. Right, so. this is well over 10 minutes now. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go check out Tactical UAV's channel. It'll be good to get him to 100 subs, but I don't know if he's, if he's looking at him that far. But hopefully he's well. He's on 84 now, isn't it? Something like uh, that. Yes, 84. We could get him that. We got, well, it'd be a, tr a stretch, but we'll try to anyway. Um, you know he wants to see more UAV. You want to see more UAV? <laughs> Um, so, any last words, Mr. Ammo Crit? <laughs> uh, no, Spankswell. I've enjoyed my time here, and so I hope you guys come to subscribe. Spankswell, and now it's Spankswell? Spankswell? Smackswell? <laughs> these are not, these aren't, these aren't insults. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> right, okay. They sound, they sound good, though. This has been Maxwell and Friends, episode 4, the longest ever episode, because Tackle UAV doesn't know when to shut the hell up. This has been, <laughs> <laughs> this has been episode 4, guys. Goodbye. Oh, and go subscribe to this channel. No! And another person doesn't say goodbye at the end of the video. Skull man. Whoops. <laughs>